Mark Halleck, North Shore Academy of Martial Arts, Libertyville, Illinois. Today I have Guru Ron Balicki with me. And you know, I scour the internet, I watch YouTube, and people talk about slashing all the time. And if I'm moving weird, I had just had double elbow surgery, so I'm just gonna try to move the knife as best as I can. But people always talk about how the slash is always what you're gonna get on the street or it doesn't work. And a lot of times you're not gonna see just the guy coming in and stabbing you. And I was, you know, it gets me thinking about different techniques. How can I, how can I counter someone just coming up out of the blue, grabbing me, pumping me with the knife, and, uh, you know, I've been watching the same thing. A lot of what I see is everybody is saying, like, you know, you don't see this, right? That's what you're talking about. Yeah. You just don't see the slash. It's just peppering, right? Or else I think a lot of guys are calling it sewing machine, and I don't know. It's got a lot of other names. The Filipinos say suk suk means quest th uh, quick thrust. And, and yeah, it, it, it's, it's actually a good question because it does happen a lot. I'm not gonna say that you're not gonna get a guy slashing. Obviously, somebody's gonna slash, and you should be knowledgeable about it. And a lot of people will, will pepper you. And, and you and I had talked about it earlier. A lot of guys, you know, I mean, usually like, that's more the kill, it really is. You know, a lot of slashes are outside of maybe a carotid or a femoral artery or something. Right, I mean, it, right. it's gonna be the peppering is what's really gonna do somebody in. Well, even like for law enforcement people, people come up, ask a question, and here's the pumping right there. Yeah. So yeah. that's a common attack, I would think, for... Well, the first thing is, all right, obviously, and I know you guys know this, and you're gonna say, yeah, it's basic, but be aware of the environment. If you see something with some of your hands, get the mm, away from them. If you see a hand not behind them, be aware, treat it the same way. Everybody today has a knife, and it's in a belt clip. You know, the guys that you gotta be aware of are the guys that have it like this. And maybe I came up and if I haven't, if I've worked, you said that now. If I've worked it, I can get out and I can start to just go really fast. So I'll deal with a little bit of that. And, uh, but uh, the main thing is just awareness. Awareness will save you more than any technique I could ever show. Okay, but there's a time you can't run. You might be stuck. And maybe your job, law enforcement, maybe you have kids with you and some, some crazy comes up to you. Or you so, just don't know it, and they just come up out of the blue, and you're not. Right, all of a sudden you're grabbed yeah. and it's gone. Yeah. So, all right, I'm, I'm, uh, let me have Brandy come in, so thanks, Mark. So, okay, all right, uh, if Randy's in, I'm gonna put you with this first so I don't get killed. All right, if, if you look at it, you spin you around too. Okay, if he's here, obviously if he doesn't have a hand on me, I'm gonna be mobile and I'll be going. If my back's against the wall, or if he's just somewhere and just surprises me, we look at three ways, the way that, that I work, uh, I work this with the way I was taught is one is cross the body and he would just be jamming into me and, and thrusting the knife into my midsection. The second is he might pin me into a wall and start to go. And then the third way is he cups the neck and gets that form to mobilize my shoulder. Okay? So I'm just gonna look at it. So right now, if he goes, and I, I, do me a favor, just, just go ballistic for a second. <laughs> See, if, it's, if I try to catch it, I am gonna be a guard. I'm gone. I mean, I do it again. One, two, three, one. I'm trying to grab it. I'm getting cuts right now in the hand. He's being nice and he's not hitting me in the midsection, but he'd be peppering me. It's tough, 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 tough. Let me explain one thing to you. I'm gonna put this in your hand for a second, just so you can see it. Okay, if I'm in here and it, it, he takes me by surprise, or overcomes me, and he gets it, you're not dead. First off, that's the first thing I was taught. When I came up under, uh, Guru Dan and Asanta, you know, he, we, I've asked this question and I've seen him teach us just outright. A lot of times when it's going, you might get hit, but it doesn't mean you're gone. You shouldn't just submit and roll over and die. Okay, when he goes, obviously I want, I want to hit to impede the progress and I try to get into the shoulder, uh, uh, right into the, the blade of the shoulder, okay, or the arm. This is where I want to be, and I'm not going to be there passive because Randy can still touch the arm and probably reach me if he pushes hard, right? So when I'm here, I, I need to shut. And obviously, I'm not gonna let him do this. We're just doing this for, for uh, teaching sake. When I'm here, I have to hit again, and I'm gonna try to get on it. So let me go in order of, of what we teach it though. I'm just gonna go slow. When it goes, if I hit and I go here, and I'm gonna push, because now it's stabbing the arm, it's a little tough, uh, like it, it is touching, but it's much more superficial than that, so with a, with a, I'll, I'll call it with a bent arm or a flaccid arm. I want to stiffen it, and I try to impede the progress. If he's going for me, I keep it away. Obviously, I don't want it to last this long, if possible. 
Okay, so he goes and he's here. After I hit, we're gonna say the first one is here because I went for the hand or maybe he didn't let me have it, let me have it. And, it, and now it comes in, I wanna push it to this side. So this is where it's gonna come off. So grab it again. So as soon as he's here, okay, he goes in and I put like that. When I go to this position, if the knife stays to this side, I peel it. So it'll just peel out this direction and uh, keep going to the floor. But I don't look for, for the, uh, to keep the knife. If Randy pulls it away, that's where I'm gonna go for the butt of the knife. Okay, real slow. So when I'm in, I find, oh, by the way, I gotta go backtrack here. I see a lot of times, guys will do this. So, so they go like that. Now I'm hanging on by the thumb. He can slap, shoulder roll it, he can slap the thumb off, or he can just pull that elbow to him. There you go. Okay, pull the elbow. Yes, that's it. Okay, all right, so if we're here, I'm also giving the vitals much more. You see it? Because he's getting more of the interior. I want the exterior to, I don't want anything to take it, but if it's gonna get touched, I'd rather get touched here than here. Obviously makes sense. Okay, so he's here. Once I go here, I wanna soften. First one is here, one, and then this is technique two, the way we look at it. Technique three is gonna be my hand. Maybe I went to grab it and he didn't give it to me, because not, he's not gonna let me. I wanna to go to this position, and that's gonna be our number three. Okay, so again, one, technique two, and then three is gonna be here, this position. I can go in there, or I can take it out with the other hand. So, the last part is where I get to grab. Now, I'm gonna grab it, but let me grab it. Right? Because I know I'm not going to say, yeah, he's not going to get it. And you're right, I'm not going to get it that way. When I go here, again, if I soften, I'm trying to get this knife to go static for a second. And the way to do it is if I went boom in the face, I just touched his shoulder, but if I touch, it might give me that chance. He might have already touched me. It doesn't mean I'm dead and gone. Uh, you got to remember that. And, and, and look, if you're looking for a foolproof, way to never ever be touched by a knife. Get a bottle, you know, maybe armor or suit or something. But besides that, you're vulnerable. If I were here, who knows what he's gonna do. He just might just surprise me. I've gotta build this. And working will build that reflex to get in there and do it. So when he goes in, here, yeah, go ahead and before you that's okay. All right, so right now, so now, if, if I go one, two, well one, two, uh, three, and then four is my number four to pull it out here. If he's not getting success within the first one, he might go high. Again, if my arm is loose, he's gonna touch me, or he's gonna touch me if I let him in. That's why I've gotta have that strong arm to impede progress. It may come back down after two. You might be back here, and I'll be back to the one, two, three, or four. If he comes in high, if it's wide, I can go here with it. If it's wide, you can go under it and get it. If it's tight, here, going over is a bit tough. This is pretty much where you're gonna find yourself. Okay, so when we're here, right here, see right here I can go into the one. See, if he goes here, I can bridge it over to the two. If it's tight, if I go here, chances are I've just helped him finish me. But if that's where it is, and he's being nice, he missed my face. But if he went dead on me, right at me, that's where I gotta be for the number five. Okay, but look, nothing's foolproof. There is an answer there. And again, you need to soften him. When he grabs, you only gotta hit him. Because if he, he's the terminator otherwise. He's just, right, right? what are you fearing here? If I'm just trying to catch a knife, you're just gonna fillet me. Mm -hmm. So I need to be stop. See, now I gotta be able to go. Okay, so that's just kind of how I deal with the pepper. That was uh, very insightful and it totally my question I thank you I mean it's realistic that's to me you know if, if you're gonna be attacked again I don't think someone's just gonna be shown it to me if they are then all the techniques we do work but to me this is more the ambush just someone the way that I look at this is if anybody teaches you something and think that you're gonna become come out of this unscathed I don't think is looking at it realistic now you know the best thing you can do is just talk please I don't want to fight whatever try to get out of it but if I talk and it's on you got no choice, and I might touch you. You better have an answer. Absolutely. So, thank you very much. All right, remember NSA martial arts. NSA martial arts, Liberty Bell. Thank you.